בשורה לא נעימה. אמרו לנו שהצדיק הקטן הזה חולה במחלה. התקשר אליי חבר, נועם, אמר לי, תשמע, אתה צריך לבוא לרב. פה רב רחום בעדינות שיש מורה רק לרב. אמר לי, תשמע, אתם תחזרו לבית חולים, אתה יותר לא צריך להיות אמורפיום ולא את האוכל דרך הווריד. הרב הבטיח שאנחנו לא צריכים את האמורפיום ואנחנו לא צריכים את האוכל דרך הווריד. כמו עכשיו, אחרי שבעה חודשים, תראה את הצדיק הזה, השיער שלו מלא, החיוך שלו על הפנים, ניסים גדולים מה שהם עשו איתם. Here is the Yanuka once again performing another miracle, this time for an ill child. How do we know besides the obvious when someone is a false teacher or prophet, when they do not proclaim the word of Jesus Christ, that Jesus is the way to salvation? The father of this little boy, after going to the Yanuka, told him to go back to the hospital that the child would no longer have the need for morphine. After this, the boy was healed and the father said, we had supernatural miracles. We are thankful for the Rav that the Rav saved our child. The Yanuka seems to have a bigger following than ever, and this could be more concerning as more Jews are moving back into Israel. Israel's Jewish population surpassed 7 million last year, 2021, as the number of Jews worldwide rose to 15.2 million, according to the Jewish agency. Statistics released Sunday before the start of Rosh Hashanah showed Israel added 130,000 more Jews over this past year alone in 2022. Let's take a step back into history of the Jewish nation. Do you recall Rabbi Yitzhak Kaduri? Whom did he proclaim was the true Messiah of the Jewish nation? The note that Rabbi Kaduri instructed to be opened after a year after his passing gave the instructions to take the first letter of every Hebrew word in the message to form the name of the Messiah. The phrase was in that note, quote, the masses will themselves arise and verify that his words and teachings can stand, end quote. And what was the result? That's right, Yehoshua, the Hebrew form of the Aramaic name for Yeshua or Yeshua HaMashiach. Some say this letter was a forgery and others stated it was indeed Rabbi Kaduri who wrote it. Nonetheless, the point is this, had it been any other name other than the name Jesus, it would not have been such a controversy. We know that the Jewish community, other than Messianic Jews, do not believe in Jesus Christ for cultural, historical, and religious reasons. This is why Yanuka Rav Shlomo seems to fit in their perspective of a prophetic view of a Messiah. Judaism teaches that it is heretical for any man to proclaim to be God, part of God, or as a literal son of God. The Jerusalem Talmud states explicitly, if a man claims to be God, he is a liar. As Christians, we know, however, who the Messiah is, Jesus Christ, as prophesied by Isaiah in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, or the chapter frowned upon in the Torah and the Haftarah. Now, I am not saying that the Yanuka isn't someone of significance to the Jews. However, we as Christians must be aware of those who lift up people as a Messiah, especially when they are referred to as heavenly, as angels of light, or have the capability to perform miracles as the Jews have clearly stated in the past. Remember that it is Satan who transforms himself into an angel of light. 2 Corinthians 11:13. With all being said, I ask, is this a time to worry? Absolutely not. Why? Because Jesus told us not to in Matthew 6.34. Take therefore no thought of the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. What we should do and must do is 1. Share the gospel with the unsaved, the lost, and the unbelievers. 2. Be aware of worldly events as it shows us where we are in the times according to biblical prophecy. And three, live our lives as we should, and praying that we do what is in God's will. Thy will be done. Are you living a life of anxiety? Are you fearing what tomorrow may or may not bring? I know that all can be healed in the name of Jesus Christ when we believe that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, that he was buried and resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures. Furthermore, being born again gives us a fresh set of eyes and we are given the gift of life of spiritual discernment to see what this world really is. A world we should no longer be a part of because our home is and will be where Jesus Christ is. Remember, he has already prepared a place just for us. Until the next video, my friends, watch for false teachers, watch for those who claim to be prophets, keep your eyes fixated on Jesus, and Lord willing, we'll see you on the next video. God bless.